In 1996, in an area called Patna, which is in India, at the time, a man named Anand Kumar won a mathematics championship competition. The event was also attended by the Minister of Education, and in his speech, he boasted of Anand Kumar for having won the championship. The minister's speech encouraged Anand that Indians should be global, because the world is not only filled with Americans, British, Japanese and Chinese. The minister was also committed to helping anyone who needs help, socially and economically, as long as the goal is to develop India. After the competition, Anand went straight to his girlfriend, Supriya, and told her about his future plans to study at Oxford or at Cambridge and get a PhD in mathematics. Anand's love for mathematics is very high, even a love letter to his girlfriend is written in binary. Anand also often spends time in campus libraries, located in other areas, to solve math problems from foreign journals. One day, he was caught and kicked out by the librarian, at that time, there was an office boy who told Anand, if Anand wants to get free access to the campus for one year, he must make an article that can be published in a foreign journal, so that Anand can freely read all the journals in the library. Of course these tips really helped Anand, so he didn't waste his time. He immediately worked on math problems that had never been solved by anyone. He worked on the problem at an old school, and that afternoon, Anand managed to solve the problem. Then, he went straight to the post office to send his article to England. Anand's father is a postman, and he always supports whatever Anand does, including when Anand doesn't have enough money to send letters to England, the father invites his friends to contribute so that his son's articles can be sent to England. Anand's father was only a postman, but from his father, Anand learned to always dream big, even though they were a poor family. One day, Anand's father rushed his bicycle with a letter in his hand. He came home very happy. He informed his wife and children, including Anand, that the article Anand sent had impressed a professor there. Therefore, Anand was offered to enter Cambridge University without a test. Anand's feelings were mixed. At first, Anand just wanted to publish an article so he could have access to the library. But instead he got an offer to study in England without a test, after his journal was published. Proudly, Anand showed it off to the librarian who had kicked him out. Anand managed to get his revenge, but in a positive way. Not to forget, Anand also thanked the office boy in the library. Because of his advice, Anand was able to have a great achievement. Anand's parents were very happy, they prepared everything needed for Anand. Especially Anand's father, when he took care of Anand's passport, he never stopped talking about Anand's intelligence to people. Because of his achievements, Anand became more confident to meet and get acquainted with Supriya's father. Although Supriya's father is still hesitant, because Anand is just a postman's son. But on the other hand, Supriya's father acknowledges Anand's greatness who will study in England. However, before leaving for England, Anand's family had financial problems. The cost to prepare for Anand's departure to England was still insufficient. The plan, they wanted to ask for help from the Minister of Education, because they remembered the Minister's speech when he was on the competition stage. Long story short, Anand and his father visited the Minister of Education for help. But unfortunately, the Minister did not listen to Anand's story. Even easily, he forgot his speech a few weeks ago. Anand and his father went home disappointed. The father reassured his son not to worry, because he will try again to find funds so that Anand can pursue his dream. Anand's father kept trying to find extra money, he even sold all of his wife's jewelry and also borrowed money from the bank even though he was refused. Even he collects debts from his friends, but all of them do not produce a solution. One night, the whole family was disappointed at the possibility that Anand would not leave for Cambridge. And unfortunately, at the same time, the father fell unconscious. Anand and his brother immediately took their father to the hospital under the heavy rain by bicycle. Anand desperately wanted to save his father, but fate said otherwise. His bicycle chain broke in the middle of the road, so his father could not get help. Anand tells Supriya about his unfortunate fate. He also gave up Supriya to marry another man, because Anand felt he had no future to support his family. After his father died, Anand had to make a living by selling cakes using his father's bicycle. Anand seemed to have forgotten his dream, because he wrapped the food using the sheets of his math book. The most important thing for Anand right now is to help his family's economy. One afternoon, Anand almost hit a car, and he fell. The owner of the car is a rich man who turns out to know about Anand Kumar. Anand may not know the man, but he does know a smart and talented kid. He wondered how it could be Anand Kumar, someone who was smart, but his job was to sell cakes. As it turned out, this man's name was Lalan Singh. Lalan told his driver to bring Anand's bicycle, then Anand was invited to go inside the car and they went to Lalan's luxurious house. There, Anand was offered a job. In India, there is a campus called IIT, Indian Institute of Technology, the most favorite campus. It is very difficult to get accepted into that college. And according to Lalan, rich people are willing to pay anything to get their children to study there. For this reason, the business of studying courses to enter the campus is very promising. And Lalan offered Anand to join his learning course business, and Anand agreed to join Excellence, a learning center owned by Lalan. Long story short, Anand became a teacher there, even because of Anand, they managed to get a lot of students and doubled the rates. 
Anand's economic situation changed. Now, he can buy his own motorcycle. Anand also becomes confident to have a relationship with Supriya. In fact, Anand also hired a housemaid so that his mother could rest. However, because he had a good income, Anand, who was initially humble, turned into a forgetful person. Especially when he became a star in the learning center, Anand forgot who he was. One day, after the party, Anand met a little kid who was working on a math problem. This boy dropped out of school, but his interest in learning was still high, and that caught Anand's attention. Because he was a little drunk, Anand came home by pedicab, and the pedicab driver was the father of the little boy. The pedicab driver said that his son was very stubborn, because his job was just studying, not helping his parents. Anand was surprised to hear that statement, and the man also said that only rich people have the right for education, while poor people like them will be of no use. It is the children of politicians and rich officials who will serve and lead this country later, while poor people like them will never get a place. The pedicab driver's words seemed to return Anand's principles. He remembered his father's message, it's not just the rich who will inherit the throne. He also remembered how hard it was for him to study in the library when he was poor, and how tired his father was to earn money for him to go to England until his father died. After that, Anand made up his mind. He printed brochures to invite anyone, underprivileged children, to study with him in order to enter the IIT campus. In fact, Anand even sold his expensive watches, vehicles, and jewelry to start a school. Because of this, Supriya broke up with Anand because Anand preferred to teach poor children. Disappointed, Supriya says that Anand's life will be ruined and he will drown alone. Fortunately, it did not shake Anand's intention to wait for his prospective students. Another story comes from poor children who read flyers about free schools. They did not waste the opportunity. They have passion and motivation, no matter how far they have to travel, they still go to the location. Meanwhile, unexpectedly, there were so many students who were interested in applying to Anand's school, so Anand had to select them. Anand will select the 30 best children to teach, feed, and shelter. Anand also got acquainted with the selected students. Anand wanted to know where they lived, what their previous occupations were, and how they came to the school. Anand also asked what they would do when they made it into the IIT campus. Meanwhile, the news about Anand opening a free course was known to Long On. Even the students asked for a refund, if it wasn't for Anand Kumar who taught them. This made Long On go to Anand's school with the intention of inviting Anand back to teach at his course. But Anand refuses to come back, arguing that 30 children need him. Long On even offered to double the salary and promised to find another teacher for the poor children. But Anand still refused. Long On is annoyed and promises to destroy Anand, he even discourages Anand's students. At night, Lawan's words made Anand think. Since Lawan's arrival, they all looked scared and lost hope. Anand encouraged them that there was nothing to be afraid of. Hunger, hard life, and near death all have been experienced. Anand said that they also died when they were born in the poverty line. Anand asks his students to prove that they too have the right to be successful and can achieve their dreams. After listening to Anand's motivation, the children were excited again. Two months passed. Long An received threats from the parents, because Long An had already promised that Anand would return to teaching. Despite the fact that Anand would never return, Long An was threatened that if Anand stopped teaching there, they would take all the money back. Long An then ordered a policeman to threaten Anand and ask him to close his school, because he was considered to have damaged the market. He even demanded payment from Anand. Of course Anand refused and said that he would not pay anything because he had no money. However, he also will not close the school. Anand's way of teaching is indeed unusual, Anand always makes everything around them a problem to be solved. Of course it is related to science, for example Anand told his students to calculate the speed of a ball, the speed of a train, and calculate equations with the analogy of life around them. Anand prefers to turn on the imagination of his students, with the aim of increasing their creative way of thinking, so that they don't get hung up on books, but understand the method. One day, Lalan and the police try to destroy Anand's school by cutting off the electricity. However, Anand instead told them to find a solution and make their own electricity. With their limitations, but they can find solutions on their own and are not too dependent on Anand. Because the books they have are limited, they are looking for ways so that they can all learn with just one book. Unexpectedly, instead of helping Anand earn extra money to buy books, they even created their own projector, so that one book could be shown to be viewed together. Anand was indeed at war with Lalan. But unfortunately, he couldn't win against hunger. However, they couldn't borrow money from the bank, because the school wasn't profitable and there were no guarantees. Because of that, with heavy heart, Anand went to see Long An in order to get a monetary donation, which would be used to feed his students. However, Long An invites Anand to compete. If Anand's student can beat Long An's best student, then Long An will give Anand's students free meal for three months. But if Anand's student loses, then Anand must close his free school and return to teaching at Excellence Learning Center having no choice, Anand agreed. They also made an agreement in front of the witness, a mentor at Lalan's Course Institute. The next day, Anand and the Super 30 kids came to Excellence, Lalan's Learning Institute. They took the exam together. 
Then, the next day, they had to come again to hear the announcement of the test results. Lalan also invited many journalists. Then, the mentor who supervised yesterday's exam also came. Unexpectedly, it turns out that this mentor is Supriya's new boyfriend. Of course Anand was surprised to see Supriya's presence. Pranav, Anand's younger brother, informs that one of their students, Fugga, is nowhere to be found, and their money is also missing. Long story short, the mentor announced that Anand's school only got 49% of the total questions, while Excellence got 50%. Therefore, Lalan won the gamble. He was very happy and immediately called Anand on stage to announce that his school would be closed. With a heavy heart, Anand went up to the stage. All the students showed sad faces. But when Anand was about to speak, from behind, there was a reporter who shouted and asked if it was true that Anand had to close his school, was there an agreement like that, if not, then Anand didn't have to do it. Confidently, Lalan ordered the mentor who was a witness to show the agreement letter. But luckily, the letter wasn't in his bag. And it turned out that it was Supriya who had helped Anand by stealing the paper and then reported it to the reporters. Supriya did this so that Anand would not have to close the school. So Anand immediately said that he would not close the school, then left with his students. After returning from there, Anand evaluates why the students find it difficult to answer the questions. They also said that they could actually answer most of the questions, but when they sat there, they felt their brains stop working due to nervousness. On the day of the exam yesterday, they had to share a room with the children in expensive clothes with a neat and clean appearance, while their clothes were ugly, so they felt inferior because they sat with children whose houses they might clean, or whose shoes they polished. And maybe, that's what made Fugga run away, said one of the students, Vinod. Maybe Fugga felt pessimistic about being able to catch up, especially since they couldn't speak English. To overcome this, Anand cancelled teaching and learning activities for tomorrow, because tomorrow is holy day. Instead, Anand told them to put on a theater show for 20 minutes and had to use English. Anand even threatened that if anyone used the Indian language, they would be asked to return to their respective places. Pranav was confused by the decision, how could Anand do that to his students, but Anand insisted it was all he did so they would learn. So, the next day, they performed in public. Although stammering, they do seriously act by using English dialogue. At first, they were bullied, but with that, together they managed to turn things around with a satire song that made these rich kids understand and even dance along. In the end, on that day, Anand managed to convey a valuable lesson, even though their caste was different, but they deserved the same rights. Anand and his students' actions were covered in the newspapers, and this made the Minister of Education, who invested his money in the course business with Lalan, panic. The minister wanted Lalan to take care of Anand's problems and ensure that none of Anand's students took the entrance test to the IIT campus. In the evening, a reporter came to Anand. He came with an assassin who told him that there was a monetary reward for anyone who wanted to kill Anand. This man doesn't want to do that because he feels indebted to Anand's father, because since he was imprisoned, Anand's father always informs his mother that he works outside the city, so that his mother doesn't get sick. Pranav asks police for help, but the police refuses to help, even says if destiny wants someone to die, then nothing else can be done. After returning from the police station, Pranav had thought of looking for a weapon to protect his brother. Meanwhile, while on his way to bring food to his student, Anand was attacked by an unknown person. <laughs> Anand got a gunshot while into his stomach, and when he was about to be shot in the head, luckily the gun got jammed, so they planned to put Anand on the railroad tracks, but Anand puts up a bit of resistance and Pranav arrives just in time, carrying the guns taken at the carnival. And Thugga, one of Anand's students who ran away, turns back to work as a security guard. Coincidentally, where Fugga works, Lalan and the assassins are gathered to discuss plans to attack Anand, because the previous attack failed. They plan to come in groups to make it look as if it was an attack by a radical group. Their target is not only Anand, but also all his students. Fugga then ran to the hospital, informing him of this. He apologizes for being pessimistic about competing with rich kids. Anand immediately gets treatment, then his students along with Pranav secure the hospital, they fight the armed assassins using the knowledge they have learned. They even managed to trap the assassins in a room so that Anand could be handled smoothly and safely. After the attack, the next morning, the students slept at the IIT campus entrance. That morning, they felt ready, despite the exhaustion of fighting the assassins last night. A few days passed, and the announcement of the test arrived. While waiting, Anand invited his students to remember their parents at home, how their parents struggled, even though they were poor, but still tried to support them, and how they all struggled to be able to come to the school to study, to change the economic fate of their families with education. 
The test results are posted and can be seen by the participants. Anand was pounding and worried for his students. How many of them will enter campus and how many of them will return to the dirt and dirty places to work? Pranav then informed that Anand had succeeded in bringing 30 of his students to enter the IIT campus. All of them managed to get into the favorite campus. Anand Kumar has not only created 30 genius children at one time, but he has also changed thousands of people at once, because when a child learns, then the whole family will get a chance. And each generation can get even better opportunities. Super 30 was hailed as the best school in Asia in 2010.